Hey guys, and uh, yo, welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. We're doing a Sega Saturn stream. Uh, this, wow, I'm so confused at what day it is. I had to kind of remind myself. It is Monday. It is Easter Monday, also uh, April the 1st, where many kind of celebrate April Fool's Day. I'm not so big into April Fool's Day. I was kind of tempted to do something, but uh, I heard a really bad origin story about um, April Fool's. That kind of put me off doing doing pranks, you know. It was quite, quite, quite horrid what it was Philly, how you doing uh alan and uh washer as well as a uh, car detailing studio austria hope you guys are all doing well Philly, i had a look um, under the games even the chds the 2do arukoto i cannot see it there yo michael mccann dude we've missed you man haven't seen you around for a while so um hope you've been well you've been well i was actually wondering i was wondering like i've not seen michael for a while so hopefully you've been good michael so today's stream guys is the sega saturn um unstable core now i was going to do the update all version the, the stable version of the core on a stable uh, os of the mister however an an unstable was released after that so i thought let's go straight with that but it would have been nice to do a stable one so you guys know exactly what you're getting into if you're not in the realm of instability so what we're starting off with here um Philip, i did have a look for your game um i did have a look for 2do arukoto and honestly i can't find it in there i checked my chds and my bin so really sorry about that Technic, no worries, we will do X-Men versus Street Fighter next. Why not start with the fighting games? Michael McCann been working a lot. All good here. Wicked man. Work just work just, I don't know. I wish if I didn't have to work, right? I wish if this was my job. Um it'd be really, really good if I could uh you know earn enough money off it. It would be wicked. I could uh, go kind of full time into this and uh who knows, I might even do something funny. But guys, before we start, we have got a special guest today. We have got Sanchero himself on the microphone. Hey, he's saying hello to you guys. You can't hear him because he's coming through to a separate mic to me and I'm relaying the message. He's saying, hello people, and thank you for spending Monday night with uh, Pixel Cherry Ninja and myself, Saturn Sanchero. Right, now let's do some... Uh... <laughs> Uh, I kind of wanted to put that on there, right? I hope you guys like that. Um, if I had more time, I might have got more overlays and gone a little bit more crazy. But you know what? Let's start with a little bit of rabbit, right? I mean, who doesn't like rabbits? Apparently, rabbits are very tasty if you eat them. Uh, I've been told that many, many a times. But you know what? I have never quite um, tried rabbit. I don't think I could try rabbit, right? It just doesn't it doesn't feel right you know i don't know it doesn't doesn't feel right where's my guy where's my guy is it this guy that's the guy that i like right but uh anyway what do you think of this game sanshiro oh it is an excellent game and i'm very glad it's been translated okay wicked we'll uh, we'll play a little bit of that and let's do this okay sorry i hopefully i didn't pick the easy control mode i'm just kind of mashing buttons here san sanshiro you're being a big disappointment i'm so sorry my dude <laughs> um just to clarify, I am not schizophrenic, and I know that is a serious medical condition, right? Uh, Sanshiro is here in, in essence, you know, he gave me the go-ahead, he was like, I like your streams, you know, and apparently some other people do as well, um, you know, even though you're, you're a little bit rubbish at these games. So, you know what, like, okay, so, like, I'm glad this is translated, right? The translations are awesome, right? Absolutely love them. However, for a fighting game, I actually sometimes... Uh, play fighting games in Japanese, right? Because I really like how cool the text looks, right? The text just looks banging cool. Uh, it reminds me of, you know, playing like import games as a kid. So I've never been heavy on that. However, I do appreciate the work uh, people in the translation community do. Um, what do you think of the translation stuff, uh, Sanchiro? It is excellent! <laughs> okay, so Sanchiro likes it too. So, um, yeah, I, I'm a big fan of it. So Derek, Derek Pascarilla, he's a guy that's done a lot of translations. Some really, really big projects like on the Dreamcast, like uh, Nakaruru, uh, ooh, The Gift That She Gave Me, which is like a visual novel based on the Samurai Showdown games uh, featuring Nakaruru. Hopefully I've said that correct right nakaruru because i think i say the name wrong um so that's that's absolutely banging it's nice to have um it's definitely nice to have translations right i mean it's it's absolutely awesome okay so let's go x-men versus street fighter right wicked and that's got a good intro as well so let's go x-men versus oh is x-men street fighter actually working okay well i'm gonna pick a game next since we're on the x-men theme there's a new demo of the x-men game um the the kind of arcade game that's been released now so that's 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 pretty awesome 
Oh, so how do we... Okay, cool. Hopefully that will kind of boot it up now. Um, sorry about the black screen, guys. <laughs> I can't hold an accent, okay? That is really, really terrible. Um, but I do want to have a laugh today, and that's why we have got Saturn Shiro with, uh, with us today. Am I a joke to you? No, 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 you're not, buddy. Just just calm down. Get back on the mic. Entertain the people. You know, I think that's tempting. It won't branch out from our pocket to the mister. Oh, okay. Jonathan, get a mister, dude. Mister's wicked. Mister is fantastic. You can't go wrong with it. Like, I'm completely happy with it. I'm looking forward to future tech, especially, like, the replay 2 that's going to get you know the, the mr cause they're not promising anything day one or anything like that it will come um but yeah man mr's wicked you can't can't go wrong with it at all man mr's just i absolutely love it absolutely love it like i love doing these streams especially uh let's look just curious what kind of mr you have and would you recommend so valkyrie um oh i have to say as well right the streams are sponsored uh by mr add-ons uh that's why you've got him uh, the logo up on the top if you're looking for a full set and it's not the cheapest way of getting one but mr add-ons is a good option um it can be a little bit expensive if you're buying it outside of um the usa uh or if you're getting it to europe or even if you're getting it to japan <laughs> uh, so um yeah so if you're in the us mr add-ons is a good thing to get all in one if not you can buy a de 10 nano directly from Trasic and kit it up i've got one that a friend of mine put together for me that's the one that i'm using it's a single ram unit uh, however uh mr add-ons uh, is as is my sponsor i got a dual ram mr setup and I always go to the story of dual ram i got the dual ram because of um a track 17 uh putting out uh, a tweet saying all uh, all midway calls are going to require dual ram like mortal combat i didn't want to pay for it so i got a sponsorship deal uh and i got myself uh, a dual ram and and the, the the worst thing is they can't get it working on the mister anyway but i've got no regrets i've got a sponsor i've got an extra mister that i can kind of take around so it's really down to you what you guys kind of want to get uh you know whether you want to build it yourself you're confident to do it there's videos on youtube or you want to want the convenience and you pay a little bit extra personally i'm a lazy guy if my friend didn't build it for me i would have gone to a vendor and bought a ready-made one and guys we have andy doe in the house andy my bro how you doing just a little bit of background knowledge on andy here the game that we looked at earlier which was a uh, rabbit andy actually um got that working on the saturn and informed srg320 and the fix that andy applied srg320 implemented that into the course so andy you're a massive asset in the community and a good friend man uh, i'm glad you're kind of dropping by here man we'll go for the street fighter game as well but what we're going to do we're going to go through that homebrew version of x-men after let's have a look at this now i can't remember if this is the game that used to crash i don't i don't maybe it doesn't anymore right okay i kind of like cami in, in in these games right wolverine's always good in these but let's go one marvel right let's go all right, I don't want to be crusty, right? So let's go. All right, let's go Storm. I always pick like Wolverine and Ryu, sir. So we're trying to make it not boring because, you know, we got a special guest today. That's right, guys. <laughs> guys, do you know what? This is probably so cringe, right? I'm going to watch this after and I'm going to be like, I'm so cringe, man. This is not cringe. <laughs> but uh, honestly, I am still cool sober. I know. And I don't use drugs. Okay, guys, this still crashes when it gets into the game. Right, okay. So, okay, the sound isn't too blasting loud. Let's go and play X-Men The Arcade. So I have put a few new games on there. This is one of them. Uh, what do you think about this, Sanchero? I'm excited. Okay, probably sounds nothing like that, right? And I don't mean to uh, put anyone down with any accents, but I'm picking like a generic accent, which will probably change throughout this, um, throughout this stream. But I'm so glad we've got uh, Sanchero with us today. Yo, Ori, my bro, glad you're around, man. Wicked. <laughs> yeah, Saturn is just wicked. So, guys, what an amazing homebrew, homebrew project, right? Uh, while we wait for um, the X-Men call... Oh, you know what? I need to press start here. I, I don't want to get done by copyright with that music, man. I've got to be so careful with streams. Like, I'll play some kind of... Yo, uh, shifty246 in the house how we doing right so let's go um, let's go game star so now it should have a little bit more so what characters were playable oh okay is this what's going on here i come up can't move around from my character has it crashed oh okay i press start here right so can only pick okay you can pick an extra character so previously storm wasn't selectable so you know what, guys we're gonna have to go storm in, in version one of the demo where i think it had one level it had cyclops and uh wolverine only so we've got we've got storm now man good times ahead oh yeah okay
Oh wow, guys, this <laughs> this feels banging. Can't wait for a Tego to release like the the arcade core, right? But wow, like I absolutely I adore the Saturn for its 2D stuff, man. And the home homebrew community is just fantastic, man. Like absolutely wicked. Um, really sorry, guys. Like when I'm actually playing games and I'm heavily involved, Sanshiro's um he's just really really watching, man. So he won't he won't pop up on screen, right? It's a bit difficult for him. Uh, but he's uh he's concentrating on the stream and he doesn't want to miss a single frame. But guys, this is this is wicked. And it's so nice that all this homebrew stuff is working on the Saturn core, right? Have I got a special? Okay, that's a special. Special is another button, right? It's not two buttons together. Can't remember if that was the case in the old one. But this is a, uh, this is just wow. This is this is great stuff, man. I mean, it's running well. It's looking good to me. I haven't played the arcade version for a long, long time. Um, I haven't. I, I would have. This is something I would have played on emulation. But guys, as far as like it feeling good, it feels. It feels good. You know, it feels. It feels awesomely good. Let's. Uh, yeah. Let's just do that a little bit. Sounds good as well. I haven't got to sound too loud. Okay. Nice to have. Um, yeah. Nice to have a storm in here as well. So this is. This is wicked. And I can see that. Okay. Can you, I wonder if you can play free players in a demo, right? I'm not quite sure. I haven't read the release notes. So I just kind of went up to... Uh, what's really good, guys? I'm kind of happy that CD Romance is kind of back up because it makes it easy to get some games, right? So you don't have to patch them. Now, I don't usually mention that stuff in description or anything like that, but this is a live stream. It's unplugged. And CD, CD, um, CD Romance is absolutely awesome, right? Uh, but however... I can't get to it via my ISP. It's been blocked, so um, I have to access it via VPN. It's, it's no biggie. I've got, I've got a VPN subscription. In fact, I need to renew it. It's running out in uh, in June, and they're quite generous. You can have six concurrent machines. So me and a friend go halves, and then I've given one of my friends um, user access to it. So I've got two. I can have two concurrent machines. I think I'm kind of alright with that. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm not gonna let's go let's go Street Fighter Alpha 3. But guys, this is this is looking good. And uh, I recommend you guys try this out. Anyone on the Saturn core, or if you've got an original Saturn, burn yourself a disc or add the image on the hard drive. Ex I'm not sure exactly sure how you play it, but go ahead and, and try this. It's it's great to have this on this. Very, very responsive, right? You know, it'll be more responsive than emulation, at least in my experience with that. Okay, the latest doesn't work. And okay, what's this one here? The latest core. Two player plus doesn't work. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm to be honest, I'm, I'm a one controller pony here, so I'm oh, it's only going to be one player stuff there, Randy. Uh, if you're talking about multiple players on this, really sorry, my bro, can't do that. So, someone said Street Fighter Alpha 3, so we'll do some Alpha 3, guys. If you um, if you want any games um, seen, uh, just try and write, I mean, like like Michael McCann's there, block capitals with nothing else in there. So Michael McCann's put Sonic and Bomberman. Uh, I'm not taking notes down or anything now. Um, I'm just going to try and... Um, I'll, I can scroll through the chat via OBS and have a look. So, um, uh, what's your favourite Street Fighter game, Sanchero? Street Fighter Alpha 3! Okay, that's what he likes. Right. Okay, really, really weird how the aspect ratio of this game is a bit weird yo wagwan snk kev man we got a special guest for you as well wagwan snk kev <laughs> yeah wicked uh, advanced vg wicked oh okay that's the game right wicked advanced vg we'll have to look at that as well wicked try we'll try to do short runs we'll do one fight of alpha 3 alpha 3 has been running well for quite some time yes baby daytona usa is a must um i find it difficult to do a saturn video without daytona because the toner is boom! Okay, do let me know if you guys are getting fed up for San Shiro, I can um, I can send him away. I can say, look, dude, thank you, we love you, but we're gonna kick you out rest of the stream, man. Um, but you know, we can't get rid of him. Don't get rid of me, I love SRG. Yeah, we all love SRG, but let's uh, let's do this. Okay, so let's um, let's play a bit of this. Now, one thing I've never really checked on the Saturn version has it got like World Tour mode and stuff like that. You know, like the excellent modes um, we've got on um, on like the Game Boy. The game I remember playing it on the Game Boy Advance. Was it a PlayStation version as well? Had it? Oh, it has got World Tour mode. So wow, this is this may be a good way of playing it if you're not just looking for like a simple arcade mode, right? Yeah, that's this, this is this is this will be a good way of playing it, right? So. Awesome. Um, let me try and pick a character I don't normally pick. Oh, let's go Akuma. I have to go the middle one, right? That's good. Yeah, my brother from... Yes, yes, that's it. Okay, my brother from another, from another mother. Oh, yeah. 
I'm telling you, man, like, I'm so glad my wife's, like, on holiday. If she, um, if she walked in the room with me doing this, I would get that look of, when are you going to grow up? And you know what? I answer her and I'll say, I will never, ever grow up. I'm still that kid. I'm, I think all of us are those kids, right? We're, we're, all, we're all those kids. Uh, that's why we do this stuff, man. I mean, we're dudes in our 40s. Think about when you're kids and you meet people in their 40s. You don't think they're going to game and do all this stuff. You, you see them as mature adults, right? That is definitely not me. And uh, I guess there might be one or two um, adults in there. Um, I'm an adult. Speak for yourself. Okay, cool, Sanjiro. You're an adult. Okay, let's um, let's do some of this. Fun, relax. <laughs> Okay, so... Oh! <laughs> well, it's difficult like doing the demon. Shut up, Sanchiro, man. Be polite. I won. Well, I won the round. Whoops. Oh. Trying to do the dive kick actually. Oh, come on, he kicked me out of that man when I got it out. Okay, we won. Only noobs, Mr. Demon. Come on, Sanchiro, give me a break, man. Right, what are we doing next? You know, this Sanchiro guy is annoying me now, man. I might have to uh, retire him. <laughs> Oops, sorry, wrong window. I, I was supposed to do this window. Right, okay, let me have a look at some of the... Remember, guys, we do block titles because I'll go back down the chat. Right, we're going to do Sonic and Bomberman. Obviously, not simultaneously. Uh, so, should have some Sonic games. I've got a couple of folders. I've got, like, a CHD, so... All right, so we'll go, we'll go Sonic R because Michael hasn't specified what Sonic game, right? So, we do uh, Sonic R and Bomberman. Okay, let me have a look at some of the chat as well. Wicked. <laughs> Wicked, Valkyrie. Uh, definitely. My wife will be happy if there's other women uh, judging me in there. Um, really funny, man. Like, like, like the other day, the other day, um, she kind of like, like woke up like at night or whatever. And like, I woke up and I was like, like, what's up? And she was like, proper, like kind of angry. And I was like, like, what's up? And she goes like, I had a dream that like, like there was another woman and I was like, oh wow, like I, I'm really sorry that I'm with another woman in, in your dreams. Like I'll, I'll try not to enter them next time. And like, oh gee, she was still kind of upset and everything. And I was like, no, cool. Like obviously, you know, it's, it's just the dream and all of that. And then she kind of got happy. And then, um, then I said to her, oh, um, by the way, what did this um, other woman in her dream look like? And then she started like slapping me up in the middle of the night, man. And I was like, I kind of felt like I deserved it. But you know what? I kind of, I kind of done that. And, you know, with my wife, like, there's certain things I do to annoy her. Like, I absolutely love it. Like, she's wonderful. She'll send me a text at work saying, look, do you want, what do you want for lunch tomorrow? Like, well, because last night's dinner will be tomorrow's lunch, right? So she'll be like, look, do you want lasagna or do you want, like, a jacket potato? So I'll answer her, like, yes, please. And he'd be like, no, what do you want? Like, pick one. And I'm like, yeah, that, that's fine. And it drives her up the wall. And I don't know, I've been doing it for ages, man. I, I'm, I'm expecting her to kind of get immune to it, but she doesn't, right? So, okay, cool. Guys, we're getting a lot of requests. I'm going to have to go through them. You may need to repeat some of them. I will try and go through chat. Let me highlight it in my window. So I've got, I've got where I am currently in there. And I'll kind of work my way down. So it might be a little bit slow. Um, so this is Sonic R. This is for our buddy, Michael McCann, who's been working hard. But it's nice Michael McCann has... A little break now to come and chill out and hang out on this stream um yeah so uh, let's do this let's do this okay let's uh let's press this so tra traveler's tales right probably said it before they, they they did those point and clicky games yeah is that the same people that done this 
So, wow, this core is just so amazing, man. So, again, like, for anyone out there thinking to get a Mr., guys, like, Mr. is wicked, right? Like, I would have never discovered the Saturn if it wasn't for the Mr. I wasn't interested in software emulation of this. The software emulation I tried was a little bit off. However, recently emulation, you know, I was playing Bubble Symphony uh, on emulation to try and... Uh, to try and beat the high score which i'm nowhere near doing right but i enjoy playing it and i tried a few different emulators on windows and i tried one on one of those linux based handhelds and they were they were they, they it, it was surprisingly good um but yeah I, I never really tried saturn stuff until i started doing it for the channel on the videos and guys i am blown away by it. i mean i'm not the biggest fan of these 3 d type of games but when it comes to like 2d stuff man this 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 is just wicked however Back in the day, I wouldn't have appreciated the the, uh, the 2D stuff so much because it was the evolution to 3D. 3D was all the rage, you know? All these graphics were, wow, look at that. They are so realistic, this 3D stuff. All right, you know, let's go Bomberman because I'm just going to... I'm going to be sinking down here, right? So, Bomberman, Bomberman. Oh, it's Saturn Bomberman, isn't it? So, let's go down to S. Saturn Bomberman. Wicked. Such a, such a great thing with this core, man. Uh, it's really, really good. We exploding! Okay, yep, Sanchura, we exploding, right? Um, dreams are real and you're guilty. No, John Halo, I'm not, man. I'm a loyal guy, man. I've never, never, ever. I wouldn't, I would not even, I would not even consider it. I know a lot of people say that, but, uh, you know, I, I would never, ever, like, cheat on my wife. The thought would not even consider it. You lie! I, I don't lie. You lie! I definitely do not lie. Like, like here. Like, like my wife, my wife's awesome, like... I'm missing her, man. She's been gone since Friday, right? So what's that? Four days now? Uh, yeah, I'm missing her. I'm missing her. But my house is so quiet without my boys, man. Like, my boys are just... Yeah, they're just noisy. I absolutely love it. Like, my daughter's here, so that's that's quite good. It gives me... I guess it gives me some purpose because there's been times where they all go away, like my kids. So what it is is, like, for example, my, my sister-in-law lives in Italy, right? So my, my wife always tries me to get me to go down there. So I tell her, okay, we're going to go down there, five days, hotel we'll mingle with your sister then we'll come back but then i'll tell you if you go for two weeks you can take the kids i'll just work in the background and when you come back i'll get annual leave and go so they they end up going and when they go it's just me home alone i kind of like some of the stuff as well um i like being by myself but then i get really bored at home like being that family man like as i always say like i need to get a guile overlay is like i've got the sanshiro one um i need to get a guile one so um I can always refer back to when I listened to Guile when he told me to go home and be that family man. So, Michael McCann, this is for you, man. Working, uh, you know, working, working with yourself or the family, whatever you're doing, let's do uh, a quick battle game. And then we've got plenty of requests, so there's a lot of stuff to kind of go through, man. Um, okay, so fill it advanced VG, right? I'll have to look at that. That's the, the next one we're going to have a look at here. So, let's go match, battle. I'm just going to spam start, and hopefully, it will just take us into a battle. Yep, yeah, well, oh, I like the characters there, man. One of them, one of them's not Goldman, right? But it looks like Goldman, doesn't it? Am I? Okay, am I? Okay, I want to pick this guy, Ka Kabuki. Guys, you know the trauma movies, right? We've got Toxic Avenger and stuff. Has anyone seen one called Kabuki, man? I know me and Andy D spoke about this before. Well, hold on. There's um. Wow, there's there's Bonk there, right? So. Oh, okay. So bombers. How come, how come I can't move it up? Okay, so go, go battle. Am I going to battle here? Okay. Oh, have I, I've, I've probably picked a multiplayer game, haven't I? Daft. I'm very, very daft. Right, what are we doing here? Wicked. Yo, Belmont in the house, man. Belmont, I uh, hope you're not getting, um, I hope you're still not getting hacked, man. That was, uh, that was quite a funny tweet. <laughs> I was laughing. Someone in Hackney, just, just for the record, I'm not from Hackney, right? Um, I am from, um, I, I'm from Tottenham. So I'm, I'm, I'm in the neighbourhood, a few miles down the road, but it definitely wasn't me, right? You're too good. You're my fellow Castlevania guy, man. So, Got to, got, got, got to love, got to love my fellow Castlevania people. Yeah, Andy, don't man. Uh, so I need to watch that again. You know, I need to watch it again. I need to watch more stuff, especially now that I, I bought the Quest Free recently, and I really like it. I just don't bloody use it, right? I should just. I love lying in bed, putting on like a movie, Netflix or something, and just watching stuff on this. I need to get like Kabuki Man on there, man. Uh, I need to watch that again. That that one is my favourite trauma movie. I prefer it to like Toxic Avengers. So if you guys want to see something cheesy. 
cheesy. Like, that is as cheese as it comes. Um, yeah, Sat and Shiro, what do you think about the trauma movies? What's your favorite one? Kabuki Man! Okay, so um, Sat and Shiro likes Kabuki Man as well. It's got to be good, right? Um, right, so Philly, you're selling everything on eBay, yeah? How much did you get for your Retro Think 5X, man? But you need to sell them when you've got the... When you've got the... When you've got the offer, you know, one pound maximum final value fee or anything, you end up paying too much. You're in Tottenham with practically neighbours. Wolf, oh, wicked, man. Uh, Shippy246, my shop used to be in Walthamstow uh, on the high street. It used to be called Able Electronics. Um, I had it for two and a half years between 2002 and 2004. So maybe if you were around, you were... You may have popped in there, right? Um, it was it was a shop. If you've been around the area for a long time, it used to be like a fridge and washing machine shop. And I took it over uh, and started doing games there. So uh, I'm the guy from there, man. So if if you've been around Walthamstow your whole life and you shopped around there, uh, you'll probably know Awesome Games and you probably know Errol's. Like, I still, um, I'm friends with a guy from Awesome Games. Um, we kind of become buddyish after. But uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was where I hung out. But let, let's do a quick game of this before we kind of pop in. Because uh, Saturn Shiro, you know, I, I don't want him to think I'm wasting time. You're wasting time! Okay. Uh, I've done that little cut out there and it kind of <laughs> cut out the black part under his arm. So it's a bit of a budget um, overlay, right? So here we go. Oops. Okay, so C to lay your bomb, right? I'm kind of blowing up ice cream, right? I, I like ice cream. I mean, who doesn't like ice cream, right? Ice cream, you scream, we all scream. So, guys, you know, you've got... Um, I don't know if around the world, right? Okay, I tried to bomb and run there. Um, so, do you know, we've got ice cream vans in, in London, UK, right? And I don't know if you guys have got ice cream vans around... Um, are, are different countries around the world. So what they do is they'll drive around and they've got very, very distinct music. It's almost like carnival music, you know, like... Dun, 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 and it's very, very distinct. When you hear it, you know, it's an ice cream van. So, you know, my kids, when they hear it, they're like, dad, dad, ice cream. And, you know, provided it's, um, provided it's you know, summer or hot day and, and they haven't had many sweets, you know, I'm, 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 I'll get them the ice cream, right? But I was speaking to a guy at work and the idea that he come out with, right, I, I thought it was genius, right? Um, his kids asked him for ice cream and he told them that when you hear the ice cream van sound, it means it means the ice creams are sold out. <laughs> so his kids are growing up thinking uh, ice cream vans only ever drive around playing that carnival music, right? Uh, only to let us know that um, the ice creams are sold out, which which I thought was genius, right? I thought it was a bit of a, a cheap move on his part, you know, just buy the kids an ice cream from time to time. But, uh, you know, I mean, the guy might have been fibbing just for entertainment purposes, right? Because, right, we, we do that, don't we? We, we? we have like a little bit of a laugh for uh, for entertainment purposes, strictly. Okay, hopefully that will get boom, bazzled by that. No, it dodged it. Okay, come on, come on. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Okay, so, such a great game multiplayer. And I have to say, Saturn Bomberman is wicked. I love how that train goes in the middle of the track. Again, all this stuff is just working really, really well. Uh, amazingly well. Like, I can't, I can't wait for, like, a handheld Mr. Man so I can do uh, more gaming. I kind of want to get myself another pocket. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get another one. Uh, hopefully, I'll get another one soon because I just keep using my analog pocket for filming and, and I'll never take it out. So, I kind of need to take it out. But I really would love a handheld, handheld Mr. to play this stuff, like, on the go, man. I'm an on-the-go gamer. Right, what have we got next now? So, we have got advanced vg philly i hope i've got this game right because even though you've kind of helped me with my games collection i swear sometimes you ask for games that i don't have um and i don't have that i don't have is that advanced vg japan i don't think i have it look this is my this is my um my chd folder and there's nothing there with ad right so let's go back to bin q and it's not there either bud sorry so let's go down to the next one um, okay, Daytona. Let's do Daytona, right? Who don't love Daytona, right? Daytona is just wicked. And you ask for Daytona USA, wicked will do Daytona USA. Or as we say, Daytona USA, USA. Okay, cool. Uh, what's kind of next? Let me go down my kind of list here. Oh, do you know what? I've got I've got a snack adapter. I've got actually everything to run the Saturn controller. You know, uh, I haven't I haven't done it. Mister Addons um, was kind enough to sort me out all the parts. So that's actually that's actually wicked, man. Uh, Andy, though, I've got Deep Fear there. Hopefully, we've got Deep Fear. I've highlighted it, so that'll be the next one. Um, yeah, so I've got the snack adapter and I've got a Saturn controller. I'm so glad I got a Saturn controller. I kept it right because I've seen Batman Forever. When when we get down to it, I will check that one. So. 
when it came down to having uh, the Saturn controller, I kept it around, right? It was in my shed and I found it by accident uh, with a whole bunch of other controllers. And the reason that I kept it was because when I was playing Capcom vs SNK2 on Xbox Live, um, and before I kind of started playing on arcade stick competitively, uh, that was regarded as the best pad. However, I ended up using a PlayStation pad, but I did try it out and I had the, I've got an original Saturn pad there, man. I was like proper, proper happy. Uh, we will. Um, okay, so you know what, uh, 60 FPS, yeah, I, I'm lazy, man, I, I need to just grab a CHD set and put it on there to save the space, because I am using a 512 micro SD card, and I think we can go to the main menu where, does it tell you how much is left? Okay, I kind of thought it did somewhere here, no, okay, cool, um, right, let's give Daytona a go, now I have to remember, I think it's C to accelerate, so we will, uh, we will accelerate, uh, what's the what's the button to accelerate Sanshiro? C to accelerate. Okay, so Sanshiro says it's C to accelerate because the other day told a game, and this is what I find annoying, right? It's I would like a universal approach to um to controls. So in this one it's C to pick your thing. So I've got to remember it's C to accelerate, right? Because I always press B and then end up breaking near the beginning, right? But what happens, like for example, like with Gang to Neo Geo games, right? Some games A is light punch, all games A is light punch, but then sometimes B is hard punch, but most often B is light kick. And that's the way that I like it. I like A light punch, B light kick, C hard punch, and D hard kick. Now I hate it when they do it in a row, where they do A light punch, B hard punch, and C light kick, and D uh, light kick. It's just annoying because it means once you set your controls, you have to keep changing them per game. I really don't know why they why they did that i mean it's one console why not keep a standard amongst all the games right why have why have like a different standard and guys this game's come a long way i, I kind of want to look at my sound levels but the sound is sounding yeah the sound is sounding sound to me whereas before it was very very low so i'd have to crank up the volume anytime i did a video and guys this this game to me this game just represents arcade racing games for me man i mean there's there's newer ones there's ones that are graphically more advanced but guys this is just absolutely wicked man this is like this is like it's like a dream right i mean the only thing better about this is would be well playing the arcade version with the steering wheel linked up with someone else and uh, and playing it but guys this is amazing on a Saturn. Like, I, I never would have thought. I mean, I never. I always say I bought my Mr. because when I saw CPS2, I got it for that. Everything else is a bonus, right? I like my arcade cores, but having stuff like Saturn on there, uh, PlayStation on there, N64, uh, a big shout out to Robert Pate, man. Guy's done an absolutely like amazing job with what he's done with the N64 core. Uh, you know, brilliant developers. We got some brilliant developers on. Uh, on the Mr. Platform, people like SRG320 that, again, are making the impossible possible where, uh, you know, before I came on the Saturn scene, I heard uh, a lot of people saying Saturn and PlayStation are impossible. Not only has he made it possible, but he hasn't, it's not dual RAMs, not a requirement. Uh, doing, using my dual RAM unit or a single RAM unit, if there are any differences, they're so minute, I, I don't notice them. The, so the Saturn is just, it's just wicked, man like it's wicked okay like i like the 2d games on there but i can't deny there's some good 3d games on there right stuff like daytona just they're just super charming man like what a game guys what a game right let's now go um let's go to the next game because i want to try and get through many as many requests as we can the saturn videos are popular so i'm going to kind of race off into oblivion the next game is a game called deep fear which is uh from my bro andy have i got deep fear i don't think i've got deep fear andy i don't remember putting that one on there you know buddy um, I've got like I've got like maybe 230 games on here, but and no, I haven't got Deep Fear. But so let's go down to the next one, which is one. Oh, okay, it's RE like. Okay, cool. I, I'll have to look at it. I think I've seen a translation of that, and my, my comments just jumped all the way to the bottom. So let me scroll. Okay, I'm, I'm back here now. Uh, right. Okay. Okay. Batman Forever. Right. So we have got Batman Forever for our buddy. Uh, Phil, I, Phil, I, or Phil, 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 for Phil. Okay, wicked. Batman. Okay, thank you, Sanchiro. Please don't ruin the screen. Uh, please don't ruin uh, the stream, and uh, please don't unsubscribe because we've got Sanchiro trolling today. You know, I don't know if he's just doing it for uh, April Fools or whatever, but uh, he's definitely trying to get more. Okay, loud sound warning. Let me turn that down a little bit. Um, okay, so this is the beat em up, I think, Phil, right? It's a beat em up, and it, it's terrible from what I remember, or is it okay? I can't remember. I guess I'll find out. 
Or is this the side scroller? Okay. Wicked. I'm seeing those down there. I'll get down to those uh, like Rampage World Tour. Uh, why, why was that highlighted as default? It makes no sense. No, 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 no. I want it on easy. Okay, so weird options highlighted. Unless I moved it by accident or something. Right, okay. Let's now go wicked. Um, I beat him up here. It's wild. Okay, wicked. Panzer Dragoon Zui. Wicked. I, I like how you put the goat at the end there. Wow! Those graphics are stunning, guys, man. Absolutely stunning. What do you think, Sanchiro? Boombastic. Okay, Sanchiro approves. Okay, I'm going to give Sanchiro a break now, guys. So he, he, he doesn't do your head in. Sanchiro, we're going to chill for a bit now. You will pop back up, but not as much, right? People think it's terrible, but I have to approach it. Okay, cool. Um, let, Well, Andy, let's check it out. You know what? I'm one for liking bad games. I don't care for games regarded bad and I like it. And I always refer to Rastan too because people hate it. I love it. Guys, look at that. Look at where the Batmobile rolls in. That is pure bliss. Like, I'm liking this already. Okay. Okay, I don't like that C's attack and A's jump. You know, why, why give us the jump button first and then B's kick? Okay, it's weird. <laughs> I swear it's like he's, he's, he's slipping around on, on some ice. Right, okay, I do like how he, our, our character zooms in and out. Yeah, I can see what this ain't like, right? Oh, wow, okay. Did he just get hit by lightning or was that special? <laughs> oh, you're just happy to see me. Okay, this is, this is nuts. As a kid, though, I would have completely loved this. Like, trying it now? Yeah, I've got nothing against it. It's definitely not like a, a great beat em up by any means, but uh, novelty while, 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 guys, sorry, novelty value, um, it's it's great to check out. Oh, look, they just shrunk me down, man. I got run over. I'm like, I'm little Batman. Amazing. All right, let's get the power up. <laughs> okay, I'll take it back. This is brilliant. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Some lightning stuff up. Wow. A great button basher, man. Uh, you kind of want to get hit by the bike so he can squash you and you can turn into this little thing. Absolutely fantastic. How good is that? Okay, he's beating him a lot, man. Oh, wow. He gets a lot of those power-ups, doesn't he? Wow, okay, that's 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 pretty I've never seen that in the comics, man. That's some uh that's some next level Batman. Oh let's get the power up, wanna get the power up. No, the power up disappeared. Okay, it's back. Yeah, this is this is nuts, man, the way you kind of float around and everything. I can see this getting really really bad reviews just because of how it is, but I can see how this can be a guilty pleasure as well, right? I, I need to use the kick button as well. <laughs> it just electrocutes everything. Okay, that is pretty badass, Phil. I'm glad you kind of recommended this game to me. Are we gonna? I want to see what the first boss is gonna be, man. I want to see a boss battle. Is a boss battle gonna be this? Um... Oh, wow. Okay. The jumping attacks are good. Well, they look good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ah, oh, wicked! All right, game over. That's that's cool. Let's um, let's have a look at what is next. Um, then the game Japan, Guki in America, and everything else. Okay, Akuma. Yep. Sorry, I'm. Didn't you wrong? <laughs> okay, virtual on SNK Kev. Wicked. Virtual on is what we're doing next. I am scrolling through uh, the messages on my uh, on my other kind of screen. So um, let's uh, let's have a look. Um, right. So virtual on. I'm pretty sure I've got it. Oh. Is it called something else? Virtual on? Guys, does anyone know what virtual on is called? It's called something something virtual on. I just can't remember what it's called. We might have to come back to that one. Okay. Um. Oh, no, okay. Oh, sorry. It had the name after Wicked. Virtual on Cyber Troopers. Cyber Troopers is after Wicked. Absolutely fantastic. Let me take a sip of my drink. Right. Today, guys, I'm trying to drink called. It's called Faluda. 
and it's a strawberry flavored drink um with like i don't know bits in it right bits of basil whatever oh okay does this have to be two player or something i remember before not kind of getting into this let me try this oh i'm pressing the buttons what's going on i, can't, I don't remember how to get into this let me give it a reset See if it works all good. Okay, let's see if we can get in. Okay, I, I don't know why I need two player. Can I do anything on the keyboard? Okay, I, can't, I have gotten into this game before. I don't know if I need a second controller, man um yeah all right let's let's move on to the next one because i have no idea what's going on here um sergeant cool okay uh just trying to sorry guys just flicking through the stuff here to try and get games um wicked uh i can't see it. <laughs> i just read your comment about the analog eyes of belmont yeah the analog eyes uh it just reminds me of those cartoons uh when we were kids you know and they had that okay so batman forever philly says it again um let me let me run a game so we've got some what's this willy wombat no idea what this is so i've grabbed a whole bunch of games and i've got no idea what any of them are okay um yeah so uh okay which bios shit i'm using i'm using a hacked region free bios that's what i've had on here for ages unless update all has replaced it or something which i don't think it has um the bios it just works man uh someone was uh someone kind of hooked me up with it so that was that was really cool of them. Um, so that was that was really really cool. Uh, so yeah, that it's a region free Hitachi. In fact, we can have a look at it. Hold on. The, okay, so it's, it's the uh, it's the Japanese 1.01 BIOS is what I'm using. Uh, here we go. Yeah, so uh, that's the folder I named it so I can remember it. And it's the it's the highest Saturn one that I'm using. Okay, I kind of remember looking at this game before, but you know what? We'll have a look at a little bit of the demo on this um and uh what i will do is uh i want to there, there's a new shmup that i've got I, I grabbed a bunch of games from cd romance but you know what? i can't actually remember what they're called now apart from one of them which is like a shmup that begins with p uh, rabbit the translation was another one. Oh, silhouette mirage was uh, another one so that's three out of the six i just can't remember what the other ones were but they oh one of them was bells and whistles standalone so i thought i'll grab that because i kind of like bells and whistles um this game here we've had a look at before it's like a kind of puzzle puzzleish kind of game right uh let's have a look hopefully i'm in the right folder uh oh, here we go this one here so scythe don't know much about this game but it kind of looked all right i was like okay this is this is a a shmup and um yeah, I like shmups. It's a, it's a horizontal shmup. And I was like, yeah, Wicked will do that. That bias is good for some games and don't work on all oh, oh, region. Okay. Um, I, yeah, do you know what? I, I don't know. I, I'm not having any issues. I can run any any region. Wicked, Winter Heat, uh, Julie Noted Filet. Uh, and hopefully that one is in there. So this is interesting, right? Let's, let, let me go and put it on easy. So, okay. It's in Japanese. Right. So let's... Um, I don't know if this was a... Tra no, this is a standalone version. So I don't know if this was part of a compilation and it's kind of ripped out. Okay. What am I fighting here? Is that tadpoles or is that just a whole bunch of jizz flying around underwater? I don't know. Either way, I'm going to shoot them. Okay. It's got it's got decent rate at auto fire so we can use that. Again, don't really know much about this game. Okay. Sounds a bit low. Let me just put the sound up a tad so you guys can get that as well. Wicked. Okay, oh, that must have been tadpoles, right? I, I don't think I was fighting underwater jizz there. Uh, it must have been tadpoles. I'm underwater, little frog babies floating about, and I'm shooting them. Right, have I got a... Wow, okay. Oh, okay. Is that an R-type type of mechanic? R-type, new type of mechanic? Will it okay, they kind of fly out. Do they come back? Come back to daddy, man. Okay. Oh, do I, do I have to pick them up? Wow, okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going in there, right? Okay, so I can fire those out, and I can go in there. Okay, this is this is quite an interesting shmup. I mean, it's not as um, graphically pleasing as, as some of the other ones. Am I gonna get? Okay, I thought I was gonna get. I thought I was gonna drown there. I thought it was gonna come up, and I had to kind of outrun it. So, I do like how I can fire those uh, things there. <laughs> cool. 
Okay, I've got another life. I thought I was... Uh... Is there another life? No, that is game over. So let's do Philly's game, which is Winter Heat. Wicked. Let's do some Winter Heat because, you know what? We all want a bit of heat in winter, right? And hopefully it's there. Is it there? Let's have a look. Okay. No, no Winter Heat. Sorry, Philly. <laughs> all right. In the meantime, until someone picks one, let's pick Ultraman. We're going to press start quickly because I feel this might get a uh, uh, this may get um a copyright strike for any other video in here so yo bears love gaming we love you too but <laughs> bears love gaming and gaming loves bears uh welcome to the stream man um right what's ori saying uh, remember back in the day we used to say shoot em ups i noticed everyone says shum ups now um when did that change you know what a lot of changes come like i used to call fighting games and i still do by accident i call them beat em ups and i get grilled online for it saying and, and i get it now it's changed so shmup i guess a lot of shoot em ups you can people might confuse it for like even maybe a first person shoot or something even though that's a first person shooter a game with shooting whereas a, a shmup is very very specific uh, I always think like a 2D, either horizontal or vertical game. I guess even isometric, but more commonly the vertical and horizontal. I do like the term shmup though. I do I do like it because there's no ifs or buts. You say shmup, you know what you're getting into, right? Okay, so what we're doing, we're doing... Okay, let's do versus computer mode, right? Because that should just let us pick stuff. Guys, who remembers Ultraman on the SNES, right? Um, Ultraman on the SNES, uh, it just weren't that good. I remember Ultraman on the SNES. Okay, no one called you, bud. You just get back there. So, who are we going to pick? All right, so one player. Let's make one player Ultraman, right? Why not? And let's let's get ourselves, I don't know, a beefy looking baddie, right? What's that one there, right? Some kind of monster. So, Ultraman on the Super Nintendo. I remember it reviewed really, really poorly. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, oh, no, let's, let's make it even Stevens, right? Let's not, let's not, let's not give it a handicap, right? Let's uh, even, even, even Stevens. So I've never tried this game. I don't think I have, at least I don't remember it. Or if I have tried it, it's been so bad that I don't, I don't recall it. Hey, hey wicked, look at that. <laughs> Guys, what I'll do after this, actually, I'll go through my games list. So Phil, if you want, you can take note and uh, pick any of the games out of there. And that goes for anyone else watching on the stream as well, right? Have a look at the games. Wow. Okay, so what are the buttons? I should try and figure them out. Okay, so the top, the X, Y, Z aren't doing anything. Oh, one button's a flip. He's just stamping the floor down, man. <laughs> love it, love it. It's so bad, right? You know what? As a grown-up, I can appreciate how bad these games are, right? But as a kid, you know, if you went out and you bought this game, right? This was your game. You had your 40 or 50 pounds saved up. And you're like, you know, I'm going to get Ultraman. Well, you know what? You are going to be disappointed then, aren't you? Getting this game out there. I've done a kind of fireball there, but... Um, yeah, that one... Um, it didn't really do much. Um, oh, okay. Wow. I kind of done like a, a string of fireballs there, man. That was uh, that was pretty That was pretty awesome. No, it wasn't. Uh, it was. It was definitely awesome. Um, I said Sanshiro won't be turning up as much, man. But the guy's trolling me, man. He just keeps turning up. You know, I, I'm trying to tell him, like, be positive, man. And uh, you can stay as long as, you, as long as you like. Okay, what's the... Uh... <laughs> okay, see, I, I kind of like... I, I dig the fact that they've done that. You know, they've, they've kind of flipped it around a bit. So, you know, the, it kind of goes like 2.5D or whatever. Uh, you know, back then, that would have been like, whoa, like, check that out. That just looks so amazing. Guys, I'm literally here mashing the buttons and moving the stick around in random directions. If a move comes out, it will come out. Okay, okay, right, right, let's go, let's go something else, or let's have a look at the games list, right? And let me go, let's go bin queue first, right? So we've got the Castlevanias, um, I'll kind of, I'll, I'll flick through them at, at a half decent-ish rate, right? So you can, if there's anything there that you guys want to see, then you guys just just literally put it uh, put it in block capitals as a single message, and we can uh, we can uh, we can have a look at it for sure. But there's a lot of games I've got on there. I've, I've got um I think I've got like 216 or over 210 in the bin Q folder, and in the CHD folder I've probably got like 50 or something. Some of them are doubles though. Um, I have to say some of them are doubles. 
So, yeah, there's quite a bunch of games there, man. There's quite a bunch of games there. I think someone said Knights earlier or mentioned that in conversation. So I might just kind of whack that on next. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's, a, uh, there's a lot of good games on here, to be honest. Saturn is just... Saturn is just Saturn. It is wicked. Okay. Wow, there's a lot. I'm kind of getting tired. I'm going to start scrolling down faster now. Okay, so what have I got? What's the difference? Is that a double? That's Japan. Okay, so... Oh, Disc 2. Okay. Twinkle, Star Sprites. Right, okay. And under THD. Okay. Arcade Gears has got some good games on it. We can have a look at that, actually. Um, the Bubble Bubble Rainbow Islands version on there is really good. It's got a different soundtrack that's really good. This is a game that Philly told me about, Decathlete. It's wicked. Uh, it's like your, your track and field game, and it just works really, really well. It, it works good. I mean, you can't not like them, right? They're, they're good, fun games to play with uh, other people and friends. So that's all the games we've got, guys. If, uh, if you've taken note of any of those, we can, uh, we can try those out. Um, so yeah, there's a there's a whole bunch of games there. Okay, so see Ultraman's like in in both folders. Oh no, no, we tried it here, didn't we? So let's go. Um, oh, oh, this one here. This is. Oh, okay. I hate when it does that. Okay, right. Let me just reboot that quickly. And while it while it does that, we'll run it. Oh, Francisco, have you? How you doing there, buddy? Wiki, uh, layer section, no problem. That'll be on the list, man. We'll do that. Francisco, have you? Is Mr. Analogizer. Okay, so there you go. The Unstable from the 29th. That's the one that we're looking at. If a new Unstable drops during this theme, uh, during this live stream, do let me know, guys. And we can... Uh, we can just update it while we're playing. So let me have a look. We got some. Um, we did get some requests in here now. So what were the requests? Like the block capitals are going to stand out. So we'll have a look at those. What's the first block capital that I see? Okay, Batsugan. So there's there's the one with the music, isn't it? The different one. Okay. Um, okay. The, the bin Q. Batsugan. Is this the one with the boot? Okay. Arranged. Okay. This is the one. Wicked. All right, Philly, we'll do that one here. Okay, no worries. No, no, Philly, do, do you remember previously on one of the streams, it was you that actually told me there was an update. So if someone does notice it, um, then tell me and we can update it. And if, that was actually a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing that. It was, it was brilliant. Um, I love the fact that we were doing a stream and during the stream, we were able to update the core and run an updated version of the core. That was absolutely cutting edge. It was brilliant. It really, really was. Okay, so let's do this. So this has got an arranged soundtrack. Let me make sure the soundtrack. I'm gonna put it a little bit louder, so hopefully it won't be um, it won't be too uh, too too too. Uh, ho ho hopefully it won't be too loud, right? Hopefully the volume levels will be okay. Do you know? What? I'm just gonna go with Gino, man. Wicked. Let's do this. So this has got a different soundtrack. This is a hack of the game. Wicked. Yeah, no, wicked, man. Thanks. I appreciate I appreciate all your help, Philly. You know, during the streams and uh, in the background as well. Thanks for all the help with the X68000 core as well. That's a stream that I will do at some point. I just felt like the Saturn one was uh, was kind of long overdue. There's a sound. Yeah, the sound should be decent enough for you guys to hear. I've turned it up a little bit. Um, Philly told me like he really likes the, this arranged soundtrack uh, for this uh, for this hack. Guys, this feels so darn good on a Saturn, man. Seriously. Wow, what a game. Whoa. <laughs> See again, one thing I like about this as well, like other other like other good shmups, like your hitbox is small. So you know, unless the kind of bullet hits the center of your ship, you're kind of alright, generally speaking. Again, I just love how those what are these? Whales, sharks, whatever they are, they just look really, really nice in there, man. Again, so these are the kind of shmups I like. I like I like stuff going on in the background. It, it looks really, really good. 
Don't get me wrong, I like some of the earlier ones as well. Ah oh, man, this is where this is where where it gets really really tough, right? So let's let's I need to use bombs here, man. I see people doing this stuff without bombs and they they're just super skillful. I'm definitely not that skillful. Okay, I did the stage, but I did uh, I did use the bombs, right? So, you know, um, I don't know if that's kind of uh, regarded as cheating, right? If you're using a bomb, uh, but I'll, I'll I'll use it, right? I'm sure I'm sure good players won't use it. They'll they'll conserve their bombs for like later. But you know, what? I'm not a good player. <laughs> I'm I'm an average Joe at best. You know, I think I might get. I really do enjoy streaming. I might get one of those foot pedals or something. You know. <laughs> So I can I can make random stuff pop up during it, you know, rather than just having a, a cut out of uh, Sanshiro and just running that. Oh, look at that. I've leveled up again. A great thing about this as well as the soundtrack is you feel powerful, right? You feel you feel strong when you're flying around doing this stuff in this particular game, man. Like, wow. So this tribute one is out. It's, it's available on CD Romance if anyone wants to go out and grab it. Uh, if in the UK and Virgin Media is your ISP, you might be blocked. Um, and you might not be able to do it, you might need to use a VPN, but it's kind of back But I don't know if they're hosting the game or if they're providing links to the games Not exactly sure how it's working, but I was able to get some new stuff on there And CD Romance does make stuff really really easy, right? Because if not, I've got to go get, get, get the patch files, I've got to start patching stuff manually Which isn't the most difficult process, but nonetheless it's a process that, you know, you need to do Um... Yeah, so yeah, CD Romance make it easy, man. They're, they're absolutely fantastic for, for what they do, right? What was after Batsugan? Layer section, right? We are sticking to the shmups. Wicked like it. I like layer section a lot, man. Uh, so was that layer section one or two? Let's have a look. It was layer section one. Cool, we can do layer section one. Layer section one is awesome. I prefer number two. Okay, okay. All right, y you can't pick a game, Sanshiro. The people watching can pick the game. That's what we're about. And occasionally I can pick a game uh, if it kind of comes up in chat. Yeah, the, the soundtrack is awesome for this game, Philly. Um, Wicked. Um, yeah, definitely try it out, man. Try out try out the, the, the Batsugan. It's it's good. It's, it's, a, it's a good shmup. Very, very good shmup. And for good shmups as well, layer section is good. Now, I always say, and someone mentioned this in, in one of my comments um, as well, where I don't generally like games with two layers apart from stuff like layer section and ray crisis in those games there stuff like dragon spirit i find it more of a chore because you have to you have to aim for them right and it, and the aiming is the aiming's difficult in this one you just got to go over them and it locks onto them then you press your um you press your missile button and it gets them it, it's it's a very very good feeling messing about with this right whereas the other games like dragon spirit and i think someone mentioned xavius and all those You've got to, you know, for example, where your cross here is, you have to, you have to aim for it. So if you go past a certain point, you can't actually attack those, um, you can't attack those enemies. Uh, I'm not, I'm not. Generally speaking, I'm not a fan. Like, like there's a there's a schmuck called Dragon Spirit, and and I liked it. I had it on the PC Engine, but I hated using that second bomb to do it. Uh, without that, I really, really did like the game. It was wicked. It's, I mean, who doesn't like games with dragons, right? We all like games with dragons, but this one here. It was just annoying getting those things and having to um, having to kind of aim for them, you know. Uh, see this one, this one's just good. Look at that. I can't remember. You can lock onto like six or something at once and fire them out. Like what a game! And again, why I love the Saturn man, it is because of this 2D stuff. Like the 3D stuff, yeah. It's a bonus for me. It's all the 2D stuff. Uh, the Tato F3 stuff on, on in particular, uh, Elevator Action and Bubble Simply, I'm enjoying on here. In fact, we'll do we'll do Bubble Simply because. Um, It'll be nice if I can uh, do a high score run on here. At least beat my high score, which is 400 and something, uh, 400 and something a thousand. Uh, not a great high score, uh, but you know what? I really wanted to compete in uh, the Mr. The Mr. FPGA um, challenge, the high score challenge, because I, I was waiting for a game to come around that I liked after Magic Sword when I didn't enter Magic Sword. I mean, I'm not really good at Magic Sword, but I like Magic Sword. Um, one thing about Magic Sword though, I'm saying Magic Sword a lot aren't I? Uh, one thing about that game though, it does get a little bit boring and repetitive right? In the arcade it was fine because with one credit I could only get uh, you know, a certain way through that game and it was it was interesting. Uh, when I've got unlimited you know, quarters or 20 pences or coins or credits, um, it's not as, uh, it's just not as interesting right? 
So, but you know, a one, a one, when you're playing with one credit to get that high score, it does become, a, it makes it a little bit more interesting, right? Wicked. What's off the layer section? Has anyone given us something else? So, layer section. If not, I'll, I might just go, oh, okay. Yeah, okay, remember, Philip, try and stick to, yeah, wicked, wicked, uh, Francisco, have you? No problem, no problem, my friend. Um, right okay yo scandals in the house wicked man how you doing man i barely have time to say hello watching in the but no worries man we kind of missed you on yesterday's stream but guys i'm streaming a lot i'm off work i've got time on my hands my wife is away i'm gonna be streaming a lot like i don't expect everyone to turn up all the time but i always do appreciate you guys coming in and saying hello so scandal do thank you like always appreciate you uh, and the support you give the channel right what we're looking at here philly i did pick up your game right but you didn't write in block capital so i could have missed it right but thanks it was in my chd for the wicked uh suku so what folder am i in okay all right okay where, where are we where are we where is that game so how is it spelled let's look at it s-o-u right s-o-u okay is this the one is this the one suku no it might be in the other folder you know because I think I downloaded that one um, earlier myself. Is this the one? No. I'm not. Oh, no, here it is down here. Yeah, so it's, it's in the bin Q folder. So how do you actually say it? So, SuQ, right? SuQ? SuQ2! <laughs> oh, wicked, wicked. <laughs> yeah, no, wicked, wicked. Um, no, I have got it, Philly. I think it's one of the ones I, I actually... Um, I got as one of myself when i was gathering up a whole bunch of games i was like okay this looks interesting the title looks interesting uh so i grabbed that one let me have a little bit more of my faluda i think i need to take a, a picture of my drinks as well i've, I've started buying funky drinks and experimenting so uh, if i'm doing a stream i'll leave it and i've kind of given up energy drinks right i haven't had I haven't had an energy drink like since early this year man i've just given it up i heard so much bad stuff about it and i was like all right you know what? let me give that up i don't do a lot of bad but and uh yeah man like if i'm trying like all different drinks oh yeah there was rampage as well right rampage needs to be next guys so i need to i need to i need to do that right rampage 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 oh, i'm gonna have to get a post-it out now because my memory's like a sieve so bear with me while i just write down rampage because I uh, already did say that earlier, and I think at one point I said I will do that next. So, at least let me write that down, okay? Because Ori is my bro from down the road as well, man. We've got some people from down the road. I've got people down from Walthamstow. I've got people down from Stoke Newington. We're talking like, I like going Walthamstow. One of my best friends uh, lives around there. Um, I took the mister around there, man, but his TV was so laggy. I had to play it on a monitor without sound. So, yeah, he, he goes around there, man. I still like getting, I still like checking out the market. Yo, Cyber Akuma's in the house. Wicked, man. Cyber Akuma, love it when you come. Guys, Cyber Akuma, he's awesome at bringing out facts, right? The guy is like a, the guy is like an encyclopedia, man. Love him on streams. Brings up all the facts. Sometimes entertaining, sometimes they're entertaining, but they're absolutely useless. But I still absolutely love all those packs coming out. So, Cyber Akuma, welcome. Let me just read your comment. Again, if you want to do right. Link all, live a story. Wicked. All right, we can try that. Let me write. I'm going to have to start writing stuff down. Now, I didn't want to, but my memory is bad. And remember, try and keep it in capitals, guys. Link all. I think I've got that because I know that was mentioned before. So we can try that Cyber Akuma. But I do hope you've been well. And uh, you always miss. Whenever whenever there's a stream, I'm always like hoping you pop up, you know. So it's always, always, always nice to see you. So let's do this game over here. Again, another shmup. Absolutely love what the characters look like, man. Just, just wicked. All right, we'll go with uh, this lady over here. Um... Kind of digging a hairstyle, wicked. <laughs> yeah, no, Cyber Akuma, man. I remember last August, she was solid on those uh, daily N64 uh, streams, man. Definitely like a part of the team, man. So awesome, awesome to have you here, man. And uh, uh, who else is here? We have got Sanshiro. Welcome to the stream. So Sanshiro is very happy to see you here, Cyber Akuma, as well. Uh, I did play Alpha 3 earlier with Normal Akuma. Um, and I actually won, so not bad. I, I like Akuma on there. I like his, um, I like his bread and butter combo. You know, light kick into light, hurricane kick into strong dragon punch. It just feels really, really good. Okay, this is an interesting spot, man. Thanks for uh, pointing this out, as it's got two layers as well. Oh, I like that bomb. 
Explosions look good. Come down to me, the peas. Again, really meaty, beefy graphics. Love it. Love how they're uh, love how they kind of pop up top and from the bottom. There's a lot of power ups in. You know what? I'm really good at dodging the power ups. If I was that good at dodging bullets, man, I'd be unstoppable. I could one CC this stuff. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm really good at avoiding power ups. But I, maybe I feel like the game does the power ups in a way where you end up avoiding them, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's interesting. What do I do here? Ah, oh, nice, 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 nice. Very nice. Interesting mechanic. Now, I kind of prefer it in layer section because you don't have to stop firing. It locks on. Uh, in this one, you... Okay, so it will, uh, it will lock on, but you're not firing, right? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a unique feature for this game. Uh, in layer section, obviously, there's um, an extra layer of protection there, isn't there? Because you're firing and you're locking on. See if I can lock onto this. But you're, you're, it's not different layers. I think you've only got one layer here, right? The up in the layer above and the layer below, it's not really attacking. Oh, that's nice. You know I'm gonna have to bomb that thing. Ah, why did I go into that bullet? Okay, had to use the bombs, man. Phil, this game's good, man. I'll never, I'll never remember what it's called again, like Sukyu Grante or whatever. But man, it's it's a darn good game, man. Yeah, these shmups are wicked, man. Hold button down. Oh, well, wicked. All right, sorry, I just saw that. Now I figured that out though without looking at um hold button down thing. Wicked. Thanks for that, Philly. Again, great, great game, man. Great shmups on there. What's the one that I like? There's one Guardian Force with a tank. Wow, what a game, man. That is a, that is a great game. And again, why I love this system and why I absolutely love the Mister, right? Because I would not have discovered a whole bunch of these games if it wasn't for the Mister. Um, a lot of Saturn exclusives, a lot of arcade ports, the systems that don't have an FPGA implementation yet. It is just pure bliss. Saturn is wicked. Let me blow these things up, right? Again, just looks wicked, wicked. I see people like posting their Saturn videos up, right? Um, and like running the Saturn on an arcade machine, like Shane Lynch, the developer behind um, the Salt and Sacrifice and Salt, Salt and Sanct Sanctuary games. Uh, he does that. All right, I should have Rampage. Ram, 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 okay. What folder am I in? Well, I hope I've got Rampage. I have, yeah, wicked. Wicked, Rampage World Tour, nice. Um, so 4C updates on Mars, to be honest, like, I, I, I'm really, like, you know, after after my kind of, you know, fallout with members of the Mars team, I'm, I'm not really on best terms with most of them. Um, I still view their Twitter, they blocked me and everything. Um, I, I get a friend of mine that sends me anything that they do, he just sends me a screenshot, so I'll still cover it. Um, I'm still of the opinion that I, I don't think they're going to make it based on information that I know that I can't share. Um, but you know what, I, like I say, I can't always be right. They may actually make it, right? They, they may make it, they may bring it out. Like, I don't know stuff definitively, right? But, you know, all I know is it's, 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 a, it's the leadership is toxic. Uh, they're not very nice. And... Um, for that reason, I don't think they're going to make it. I think people around them are going to leave it. They're very disorganized. They're very arrogant in we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And they didn't deliver on what they kind of promised. So that's still my stance on it and I'll stand by that. But you know what, guys? I'm happy to be proven wrong. I, I don't mind. I'm not one of those guys that's going to be like, here's a grudge. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to take it to the grave. I really don't care. Um, bridges can be rebuilt. Amends can be made. Um, I'll still call it as I see it, which is I, I don't think they're going to make it right. Uh, I, 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 you know, the way it looks at the moment, it looks like the replay, the replay two are going to hit the mark before them. Um, it's more powerful as far as logic elements and the technology goes compared to the FPGA Mars are allegedly using. Um, and it's going to be more powerful and it's going to be cheaper. So it looks like the better option It's going to be completely open source, right? So it's going to be a board that you're buying not an actual like console so we'll see what happens with mars like it's make or break for them in june so in, in at the end of june at too many games if they show like mortal Kombat 
uh, Mortal Kombat 2 running, if they show the 3DO call running, the Atari Jaguar call running, if they show that stuff running, then people are going to be interested, right? I mean, you know, I might not like some of the team members, I might really think not 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 just not highly of them but i may think quite low of them right but if they deliver something that's good uh, it's the product that i like if they if they get dreamcast working on it and no one else has and it's it's an fpg implementation of it i'll pick one up for the channel man it's just something that i'll i'll do right you know so it is give my honest advice on 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 products to different ones and, and most people are kind of okay right about it and it's not like i i am biased about mr right i am biased about analog pocket and i don't hide it like i think i love it right oh, it looks like he's humping the house i absolutely love um the the mr the analog pocket i don't hide it right i can still like other stuff i don't have to like you know dislike something or be like oh no my allegiance is only to mars and all of this so i actually spoke to mars and i said look you guys have missed your target for quarter one you know you haven't all you've done is shown this this you've shown the world you promised the world but you've shown like a really old game and i just advised them i said look just go quiet and then come out banging when you've got something that's really really worth showing and that's when it just kind of went like oh why are you advising us you you've got ulterior motives because of your sponsorship you know and, and it's just nuts right because my sponsor mr add-ons which is only for one show again mars were responsible for me for getting <laughs> the sponsor um you know mr add-ons is smart enough to know that okay i cover multi fpgas but it's his sponsor uh it's his kind of shop uh, and product that comes at the beginning of the store so i might be saying mars replay 2 uh you know psype but it's mr add-ons that gets the plug at the beginning of the show but yeah it was just it's just weird but we'll i guess we'll see you know uh either they're gonna either they're gonna deliver i i don't think they're gonna de deliver but honestly if they do, if they do deliver and everything i'll quite happily come on and say guys i was wrong i'll eat my words they have done it right because there's no room for pride in here if i'm wrong i'll admit it every single time i'm used to admitting when i'm wrong even when i'm not wrong i admit when i'm wrong and that's what being married is all about right let's have a look at the next game link will live right this is for our buddy cyber and i'm pretty sure i've got this right so let's go let's go to l link will live a story okay excellent uh what we got okay yeah replay replay are going full fully fully open source man um so replay for replay uh two is um by the main guy behind it is a guy called mike j he made a console called like the replay one like years and years ago um he sold a few of those now the replay two has been in the making for quite some time now it has its critics you'll get a lot of people shooting stuff down on the internet i won't go into specific names but any rival project that they'll kind of come down and they'll talk about it and if you say anything about them they'll run away and cry and say that they're being victimized and they're being attacked yada 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 but yeah um i can if you want an invite to the discord just drop me a message on one of the videos and i'll give you um a, a single a single invite for it I, I can't do bulk invites for it because what's happening is um even with my discord when i when i load the security and i do I, i'm doing bulk invites at the moment but you end up getting bad actors in there that are like going on every channel and just posting crypto and porn links so uh, but with with uh, the replay 2 if anyone wants access to the discord just Drop me a message saying, can we have uh, an invite? And I'll give you an invite that can only be used once by yourself. Uh, so we can only get enthusiasts in there. But if you do go and speak to them on the Discord, you'll notice straight away that these guys are cool. They're polite. They answer any questions. They don't duck anything. They don't block you. They genuinely answer questions. And I'm one of those guys. Look, if you watch my weekly shows, right? Guys, I don't give a damn if you're a large project or a small project, right? If I like your stuff, I'm happy to cover it, right? Even if I think your item isn't going to make it, but you're working on something cool, I'll give you exposure on the weekly show. And that's just because I like doing it. If you're a nice person, you approach me nicely. And that goes for anyone. If anyone's watching out there and you're working on an indie game, you're working on something that is retro and goes with the kind of stuff that I cover. Guys, you can contact me. Like, I try and respond to every single thing that I can, guys, right? So you can contact me. I'll cover your stuff. I've got no issues with doing that on there i like covering you know you're working on a homebrew game are you working on a rom hack are you working on some hardware that gives retro uh hardware new features whatever you guys have got like i am all out there to do it like it, it really doesn't matter uh to me uh you know 
if, 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 but, if uh, the, sorry, the main thing, sorry, the point I'm making is if you're a kind person and you're kind and polite, I'll cover it. I might put a disclaimer saying, like, if you've got a Kickstarter, and even if I like and you're kind, I'll always say, do your due diligence. Kickstarter is a risky. If you're going to back a project, you can back my best friend's project, right? Because anyone doing a project is never going to say, oh, my project's going to be a little bit rubbish. Everyone's going to say it's going to be amazing. So, you know, it's up to you how you decipher it, how you kind of have a look at it, how you research it, research the person, research their previous works, and you can build the picture of uh, what someone is. And hence going back to Mars, if you look at like the main guy that's doing Mars, just go online and have a look at their interactions with other people. Like there's literally nothing I need to do or say you can just see this person's conduct throughout the years and you can see that's the person that's leading this project but there's another thing that I, I'm, I'm i'm scared with mars and even if they do make it and i'll put the warnings out there that we don't know if they're going to make it it's going to be locked down and closed source they're saying open source right and they're saying they're doing it for preservation it's not for preservation it's the, it's to turn over some money right it's a closed source project which they'll open source or they'll have like Oh, uh, uh, they'll have availability to have stuff added on there so all that stuff about that you know the team talking about preservation is always our goal it is not the bottom line is you want to do it for money just be honest about it right i like make money money from youtube right i like doing the videos i enjoy it but ultimately i could make it if i wasn't if i was doing it for a love right i wouldn't monetize anything would i but i monetize it i like the couple of hundred pound I get every month, it, it helps, you know, it'll fill up, but uh, you know, it'll get me like a tank of petrol and it'll get me like a couple of takeaways or, you know, nothing major there. So we like it. So it's important to kind of be honest about that. Um, but yeah, sorry, I kind of ran off and I forget what my original point is a lot of the times. Uh, guys, this is an RPG Cyber Akuma. So as much as I kind of like this game, I like to do it. It doesn't always make, sorry, Ori, I'm looking at your comment. I, I prefer uh, Snickers. Yeah, uh, 4C Replay 2 are based in Europe as far as I know. I've never actually asked, you know. I think, yeah, they're, they're based, they're, they're European based. So if you're Europe, it kind of should be all right. Uh, let me let me load a game that kind of looks all right. So while I'm, um, while I'm chatting, let me find, um, oh, was it Bells and Whistles? new ones i've got okay let's go bubble symphony because that's that's just a good game um okay time go and ninja hayate okay cool we can uh we can do time girl um i can't remember those anime ones man they get me copyright warnings i have to like skip the kind of uh i have to kind of skip the introduction there's one game called magical night that definitely gave me a copyright thing but the good thing is youtube gives you the, uh, an opportunity to cut out that particular segment or that part where there's been a copyright claim now a lot of the times those copyright claims can be false and often they are but sometimes it's just a headache to challenge it i don't know the only time i challenged a copyright claim or whatever it was uh, not a strike a claim was with uh, someone actually put one out for guile music and i've done lots of street fighter videos and i've never had that before so i challenged it and that was fake but it would be nice if youtube did something for these accounts that go around making fake claims so they can get ad revenue from you based on like nothing but a completely and utterly uh, fake claim so yeah that's that's definitely dodgy it would be it really would be nice to to have something that if you make these claims and you lose a few you, you know you get banned or whatever but i'm sure things like this will, will resurface right so we do that okay i've seen a few games there for, for you so wicked all right so let's go time gal first because i kind of put this on so while i'm while i'm ranting on uh i think that's in it's in this folder isn't it philly okay so time girl and ninja hayate that's disc one cool all right so here we are so that's one game sorry i thought it was two games there for a second with your two lines there wicked um i hope everyone's having a good easter monday okay i thought it was a little bit absent for a little while so i have to uh have to add the, add the cringe to uh, the video oh no you're gonna make this game oh you made me play this last time philly this is the one about um all quick time actions isn't it wow man time flies when you're having fun right how long have we going for one hour and 20 minutes Okay, so that's the credit button. I figured that out. Okay. And then start right. Okay. Again, interesting game. 
this is like your, your Dragon's Lair, Space Ace almost kind of thing, right? Kind of thing, learn the movement and you end up with a really good cartoon. What am I, I think I'm in the arena at the beginning, is that correct? Well, it's taking its time to load though. It'll be nice to get a, a quick load option like the Neo Geo CD calls got for the Sega Saturn core. I feel that that's something that will... Uh... What's going on? Billy, like this is taking really long to load, man. Oh, it crashed. <laughs> All right, what's the next game? Right, okay, let's let's find something else, right? Let me see if I can find one of the new games I've got. So, was Blast Wind one of them? Blast Wind. Sometimes I blast a bit of wind and, yeah, I think I should carry a warning sign. <laughs> uh, no, do you know what, Phil? It worked for me before as well. I, I, remember, I remember playing it. I remember watching that FMV and everything there. Let's see if this uh, this does it. I actually really like the the Saturn splash screen with the BIOS and everything there. Uh, also want to take this chance, guys. Uh, the, the sponsor of the Saturday news show, as well as the sponsor of any Mr. Related live streams, is Mr. Add-ons. Um, so definitely check them out for, for like all your Mr. stuff, man. Awesome store. Very, very good customer service. Very, very good guy. I, I like the guy a lot. I, li I like him a lot. I'm, I'm really glad to have him as a sponsor. Someone that I speak to as well. Uh, so that's awesome, right? So what is this blast wind? Don't be like a 3D tank shooting game or something. Is it a 3D tank shooting game? It's going to be a bloody 3D tank shooting game, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. It's a shmup, wicked. Okay, we've done a lot of shmups today. This has almost become the shmup shooter. Oh, look at the power. I'm firing stuff out my side, man. Oh, nice. Want to get the power. Oh, I've got the power. I love how... Your sides explode, that's just wicked. You get the power up, destroy the stuff on the sides, so nice. Let's let's try and get one here. <laughs> and I shot the I used it. Wow, look at the fire on that! Look at the way that's bending around. Yeah, this is this is banging, man. Billy, is this one of the games you told me about? Is this one of the random ones that I picked? Ah, I did try. Seriously, amazing, absolutely amazing what SRG320 has, has done with a Sega Saturn core, man. Exactly what, um, you know, amazing as well what, um, oh wow, what's going on here? Okay, need to bump into that. Right, what, uh, what Robert has done as well, man. We've got some, like, really, really good developers, man. Uh, Wicker Wacker, David uh, Shadoff, um, who else is there? Um, Otego, man. Otego. I'm a big fan of Otego, man, because obviously I've, I have a bias towards Otego and his work, right? Because I, I love the CPS stuff, man. So, you know, that that that's a large part of my arcade history. So he's 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 like my hero with a lot of the stuff, man. You know, the, the reason that I got the Mister. So, really, he's a, he's, a, he's a nice guy as well, man. You, you know, so. Yeah, big, big, big props to him, man. All the other awesome developers out there. Martin Donlon as well, with, with his amazing work on uh, RMM72 and M92 core, which are coming for the Unlock Pocket soon. Uh, Boogerman's port porting them across, so they, they should be coming out soon. So awesome, awesome stuff. And, and Robert Pape, uh, he's taking a well-deserved holiday. I really hope he's having a, a good time on a holiday. But knowing Robert, he'll come back with, uh, with something. Uh, yeah, the Saturn's definitely awesome for shmups, guys. Michael McCann. There is a good shinobi game is there a good shinobi game well it depends it's subjective isn't it like for me it's a crap shinobi game but it's also a good shinobi game right it's so crap that it's good and we can have a look at that now uh, it's bad but i like it um yeah in the hunt we can show that let me write it down man i need to i need to write this stuff down now do you know what right before previously right i used to use a, a 14 inch uh zephyrus uh, Asus ROG Zephyrus, right? That is what I used to use. And I liked it a lot. So I got a 17 inch one now, but for moving around, I use like a GPD WinMax 2, which is a 10 inch laptop. To be honest, I, I kind of miss the 14 inch laptop, man. Um, if I see a good deal of one, I might do that and give my kids like the 17 inch one. It's a good laptop. It's got, um, it's got, um, it's got, um, a 3070 in there. I don't really game on it. I game on the ROG Ally now in, in bed more than anything. That's what I'm playing Cyber Force on. Mizu, no worries. I'm writing Dragon Force down because, like, my, uh, my brain is like a sieve, man. And, uh, you know what? Even though I've got an assistant today, it's not much help. Shut up! No, you shut up, man. You know, you're not helpful. You're just coming in and 
and saying random stuff, right? Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to chill. Let's see how far the, the attract mode goes, man. I do like to chill and having a look at that. <laughs> Mizu, his accents change a few times, man. I'm the best. Uh, get off the screen, man. <laughs> I think I'm going to get one of those little pads where you press buttons or you tap stuff with your foot to get stuff popping out because it is, it is interesting. I think I can make the streams a lot more entertaining if I can have like gifts and things up there just to kind of make it look more, more, make it look more entertaining. I think I can work on something. This was just like, I, I thought I'd have a little bit of a laugh, right? My, Michael McCann, my bro, this one is for you. Uh, I know you've been working hard and I, I, I work hard sometimes at my job. Uh, in fact, yeah, there might be some good developments at my work, but I'll find out when I go back on like the 26th of April. So I've still got quite a bit of time off, man. I mean, it's awesome. I, I took the time off to, to babysit my daughter, but my, my daughter's 15. She doesn't really need much babysitting, like literally nothing. You know, I'll cook a meal. We're getting a lot of takeaways, though, I have to say. But yeah, today we didn't get a takeaway. Tomorrow I'm making pasta. And then on Wednesday, I think my aunt said she's going to send food down. Uh, if she doesn't, then I'd like to get a takeaway again, um, which I, I, I've kind of been really enjoying half pounders and, and not like the gourmet type, just the two factory, you know, the, the, the normal generic kebab shop patties. Um, so I've been enjoying the half pounders recently and uh, my daughter really likes like chicken burgers. So um, yeah, we'll go to our, our local one, which is actually quite nice, uh, you know, considering um so yeah so that'll be a takeaway at some point but i'm trying not to have too too many right i think a takeaway three times a week while while um while while the mum's away is acceptable i mean i i, I like i like them uh michael mccann okay that's shinobi we'll go and we'll go and look at something else as well uh oh they can run as well i like how you can uh hit that Oh, you can run as well, right? Awesome. Let's fire a ninja star or two, or kunai, sorry. It's a kunai in this one, isn't it? Okay. I'm doing a bad job of this, right? But I, I, I kind of like this, right? This is, see, if this game, I don't know if this reviewed well or not, right? This is the kind of stuff where I don't really care. Like, I, I like this. It's Shinobi, and it's a guilty kind of pleasure game, right? I like, I like, I like how it looks. I, I, I like this game a lot. I like this game a lot. And whether it's good or bad, I don't mind. I mean, my gameplay is definitely bad. That's there, right? Let's do In The Hunt. We're doing a lot of shmups today, man. Not a complaint, just an observation. Okay, it's going to be in the other folder. I've definitely got In The Hunt. Here we go. We've got In The Hunt. We've got a CHD version. Wicked. <laughs> yeah, you're not a three. Well, it's my daughter's mum that's away. Actually, you know what? My, my mum's away as well. She's in another country with one of my brothers. Uh, but yeah, their mum's away. So, wow, okay. My mum's in another country and my daughter's mum, who is... Yeah, my wife. My daughter's mum is my wife. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Trying to work it out here. It's like I'm doing maths or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, so they're they're all out, man. So we're we're all we're all playing, man. We're all playing. I kind I kind of miss my mum, man. I'm very close uh, with my mum. I miss her. I spoke to her on the phone. Uh, I speak to her on the phone, obviously. But she's got dementia. She has she has no idea that I called. Uh, so the next day, it's like I'll speak to her, and she'll be like, "Oh yeah, have again. Absolutely no recollection." But I I, I do miss her, man. You know, uh, you, you know, brought up. Uh, for a large part of my life single parent with my mum so i'm very very close right from and i'm the eldest one so you know i kind of got into the shopping got into helping out and everything there and you know my mum's cool man my mum's cool like i, I like her. even though the dementia the thing is you know dementia sad it's not got to the part where she remembers all the kids she remembers all the relatives she remembers something i did to annoy her 20 years ago but she can't remember something that happened 10 minutes ago so it's not at a bad stage yet i really hope it doesn't get worse it remains like this and the important thing is she's super happy. She's super, super happy. Wicked. All right, let me see if there's other stuff to write down. Okay, so this is, this is fantastic. What a game. And for anyone with a Mr. Guys, like, yeah, you want to check this out on, um, you want to check this out on the RM M92 core. And if you feel particularly bra brave, down you, download yourself the turbo core and play it on the turbo core where there's no slowdown when, when there's lots and lots of stuff happening and just watch how you guys get killed man yeah love the fire on this i don't know if those things are worth destroying because everything splits off but this is such a stylish game man 
Um, so like a little bit of trivia, something that I learned from streams and reading the comments on my videos. A lot of the people that made these games for Irem went on to work for uh, SNK. So a lot of Neo Geo games were made by these games here. And, and you can see a lot of that in, in, in the kind of art direction that these games have. Again, love how you kind of go to the top there, fire that, fire at those uh, helicopters and whatnot. Looks, looks really, really good. Oh, okay. I, I'm, I might die here when those things blow up. <laughs> the evil sub got me, man. Wow, what a great game. I wish if I saw stuff like this in the arcade, you know. I never really saw this stuff in the arcade. I think it's, it's, it's something I would have definitely liked. Right, let's get this thing up here, right? Is it trying to... I love how, like, the jet fighters come in as well. It just looks wicked. Wow. Okay. At least those things didn't come exploding at me. Oh, I like those missiles, man. Very, very unique shmup, right? With a submarine. Who would have thought, right? I mean, just, just the idea of this, right? When they're discussing games and what to bring out. Pure genius. And guys, this looks... It looks very, very close and feels very, very close to the arcade. I mean, I, I can't tell much of a difference, but I'm, I'm not... Um, you know, I, I, I'm probably not the best judge of this, right? This just... It, it looks wicked. Again, Saturn, that 2D powerhouse, man. One of the reasons uh, we love it so much. Again, look how those torpedoes come out and what they look like. The little trail that they leave behind just looks absolutely wicked. I kind of want a game to have like a good demo mode. Wow! Wow, wow, we that, 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 that look good. Like, oh! <laughs> Oh, nice. Okay, that was good. Ah, but I got blown up again. Right, what's next? We have got Dragon Force next, guys. But let's go Dragon Force. And I'm sure I've got Dragon Force, but it's an RPG, I think. Is it an RPG or is it like a strategy game, right? Because it's not going to be the best game to share. Oh, that's quite loud. Let me just turn that down a bit, guys. That's not too, too loud. We do, we do want sound because a lot of the games have fantastic sound. Wow, a lot of games begin with D, man. Dragon, dra here we go, Dragon Force. I think this was that kind of strategy game, if I'm not mistaken. Wicked. Uh, so Dragon Force there. Guys, hit me up with the block capitals if you want to see some other games. We can we can uh, do that. Um, well, it'll be... <laughs> okay, a mini game in uh, Metal Slug here. Cool. Metal Slug is fantastic, man. Good game. Good series of games. Wicked. You're not tired of smups yet? Okay, game called... Oh, Soul Divine, um, Saturn Port with extras. Okay, if I have the game, I'm gonna write that down. No, dude, I'm not. I'm not tired. I'm I'm good trying out whatever, man. It's it's whatever you guys mention. I'm I'm good to do it. Um, we'll have a look at the intro for this, guys. But you know what? It's it's one of those games. You see, you can't like see on stream. You can't really play these games like like this is a kind of game I would like want to play by myself. If it was something I would stream on, it would be on like. Twitch or maybe Twitter where I'm not even talking I'm just playing because I like to take my time with these games it's like I really like Metroidvania games but I feel like then it's not worth me streaming those because I really go slow about them right when you watch the people that are good at those uh, Metroidvania games they just wing through those games man they go so quickly through all the games it's just it's 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 mad how how good they play so you know I'm there looking at the map every literally 30 seconds I can't make even I get bored of myself watching myself playing it even though I actually really do enjoy the games um Metroidvania is a fantastic recommend the Castlevania ones I like Area of Sorrow Dawn of Sorrow especially uh, the Hoover in one of those games I can't remember which one now the Hoover just sucks the soul out of everyone you get it from uh Persephone it's the soul you get from Persephone that gives you the Hoover if I remember correctly and that Hoover just destroys everything man it's it's overpowering uh, you can pretty much go through most of the game bar a few boss battles man um, but again, you know what, for this, good intros, like, Saturn definitely had some good intros, and while we do that, let me finish off my drink. Guys, remember when those aloe vera drinks were, 
very very um popular i kind of dug those man with like the jelly jelly in it and whatnot whatever this drink is faluda it's got some some bits in it that are nice i actually like bubble tea as well with a tapioca in there man that's uh i do like getting um treating myself to one of those but it is the tapioca that i like uh more than anything else yeah. uh, okay tell me how it handles on the battles next time you come on cherry um yeah do you know oh i don't think i've got saturn sukudin um, we can have a quick look in here, but I remember going for a whole bunch of speech. So, again, not the not the most. Um, yeah, I haven't had the aloe vera ones for a while. I've been I've been doing like more bubble tea. I actually got bubble tea in a can yesterday, and I didn't didn't get a single a single tapioca ball up until I finished the whole drink, and they were all just wedged at the bottom. So after I finished the drink, I was able to get some. Uh, some tapioca or just to kind of chew and eat at the end but yeah the aloe vera drinks with the rage for quite some time man they're nice do you know what i've been liking recently um what they're called like fugo fugo something they're like really expensive it's five pound a packet for these crisp, crisps right and man they are they're very very spicy they're good right okay this is a whole bunch of speech here so yep noted hyper jewel let's see if i've got soul divine first right i don't think i have Nope, okay, so it's not in this folder. And I doubt it's in the CHS folder, CHD folder, unless uh, Philae kind of recommended it. No, that's not there. So we can do hyper... Is it, what's it called? Hyper Jewel, right? Hyper Jewel, Hyper Jewel. Okay, is it in the other, other folder? Has to be. A oh, Hyper Jewel, cool. Right, let's do this. Wicked. is kombucha popular in the uk what is kombucha it can't be that popular but then again if i don't know something it doesn't mean it's not popular it just means i i, I don't know it um i don't know what kombucha is man i uh, had bubble tea once juice balls and things are basically pops yeah so yeah you got the juice balls whenever my kids get them they get like the different flavored like juice balls that pop i i, I just like the tapioca which are like these kind of chewy kind of i don't know chewy kind of bubbles um so that was good. Um, I don't think I've got Sukudan Mizu. Let's have a look. Let's let's have a look. I don't think I have. No, no Sukudan. And, and I don't think it'll be in... Uh... Oh, no, no, that, that's not... No, nah, that's not it. <laughs> that's not... Is it? That, that can't be it, surely. No, no, it's not. Okay, cool. Oh, Genzo. Okay, Genzo Sukudan. All right, let's have a look under G. Okay, let's have a look in the other folder because bin Q I've got more of because initially this core only worked with bin and Q files and CHD support came later. Uh, I mean, if I saw it, it's the kind of game I would grab. Only because I know it's popular. No, I don't think I have it. Right, let's 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 try this hyper jewel. Getting so wicked. Yo, zero the prototype. How you doing there, bud? Okay, yeah, I, we, I've tr I've tried this before. This is this is interesting from what I remember. I mean, let's go Saturn mode. Like generally, Saturn compared to arcade mode or whatever the console mode, uh, it's usually easier. Let's give uh, let's give Doctor B Lloyd the chance, right? looks about my age <laughs> okay like that it's got auto fire right the the way the, the way those enemies come reminds me a little bit of uh, of nemesis the way they're coming in i wonder if they're going to do that little kind of um 20 22.5 degree turn <laughs> be very specific my numbers here i should actually just focus on the game and try not to get shot <laughs> as uh, that would be the aim right yeah, Hyper Jewel's good, Philly. I like this. I've, I've played this before. It's good. This has definitely become like a, a shmup special, hasn't it? Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, I like those. Okay, I like them when they're going back, but they're homing missiles. Look at that. Look at the way they go out, man. Again, just really, really good. lovely sound effects man and i think they're, they're kind of yeah the sound level kind of looks all right looking at it from a, a visual basis
I think Philip, maybe the, the, the X68000 uh, stream might be next. I, I know it's not going to be as popular as like Saturn or N64, but you know what? I, I like doing them, especially when um, when I haven't tried the system before. Oh wow, this this boss is wicked, man! Look at that! Look at him flapping it about. <laughs> Ah, oh, look at that again. Yes, lovely how like as as it's spinning around, it's getting like a little bit bigger. That looks good. I'm glad I've got those uh, rear kind of missiles, man. That looks. Oh, I've got another fire. Wow. Oh no, is that limited? Is that, oh, oh, I can turn into a robot as well. That is good. Wow. Yeah, it's a good game. Okay, how long can I remain robot for? Oh, oh, okay. So it's, right, it's that button. Okay, so this is more like a. This is good. Okay. <laughs> I feel like the spaceship's the better choice, though, especially with like those rear-facing missiles. But you know when you ah. Okay, that was good, guys. Anything next? Have we got something next? Uh, have we got something next? Okay. Um. Yeah, okay, Wicked Philly. Sorry, I don't I don't look at the chat when I'm playing in it. I look at it after, but I did figure it out. It's a nice one. Still appreciate it. Um, right, okay, the time for me to pick a game. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to pick... Let's, uh, was it Twin B that I got earlier? Yes, it was. Okay, Twin B, Time Attack. So this is a ROM hack. I got this from CD Romance earlier. Oh, so, uh, Cyber Akuma, I think we had a look for Soul Divide. I, I don't have that game, bud. Uh, we we had a look for it. It's it's not on my list. I've got like you know 230, 240, maybe even 250 games, but I don't have um, yeah I, I don't have everything on there. I need to get if there's a torrent out for like a complete CHD set because it won't be so big. If it's like a couple of hundred gig, I'll just put everything on here because I think that will be nice for um, I think that will be nice for streams, right? So guys, let me ask you guys a question, right? Is this, um, was Bells and Whistles the first games to have, well, Bells and Whistles in it? The Bells that are in Parodius, or did this come out after Parodius? I can't remember. I always, I always kind of associate this with, uh, with, uh, with having the Bells. You know, the different colour Bells. This game, this game looks good though, gotta give it to, to this game. Oh, nice, nice charge shot as well. Ah! <laughs> Okay, I do like games where your uh, where your projectile can uh, nullify certain other projectiles. Am I actually doing damage there? Nah. Okay. Oh, I am. I am. I am. Okay, I was doing damage there. I just I didn't feel like there was enough of a, a shake there to let me know. Came out. Let me say so. Okay. Cool. Yeah, MS, MSX is decent, man. I'm really looking forward to MSX2 um, on, on, on the pocket. Uh, I think that's out for the mist. I should really try it out. I want to try, like, the Metal Gear game out. Uh, any other suggestions, guys? Well, you know what? Uh, since we mentioned Parodius, let's go into one of the Parodius games. Is it one of these ones? Yeah, it's this one here, man. I, li I like these sequels. They're really good. Uh, Opa Opa. Okay, cool, Sabrakuma. Uh, you know what I do like? Opa Opa. What's uh, what's the other one? Time Bokan series. Is that Opa Opa or is that a different game? But the Time Bokan series, that's very, very stylish as well. Uh, looks very, very good. Uh, wow, we're doing a lot of shmups today, man. Didn't even think this was a subconscious kind of effort there. Uh, for anyone that's tuning in late, guys, um, we're, we're doing some Saturn stream. We've got a special guest there. Say hello. Hello! Okay, so um, yeah, we're, we're going uh, a little bit crazy today. Uh, I'm probably I'm probably gonna check. I've probably lost like five subscribers today. They've just seen the Satin Sanchero thing and they've gone. You know what? That that's it. We've we've had enough of this guy. He's 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 nuts. You know we're gonna we're gonna leave forever with me. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay. So let's do normal game. 
Ooh, I want to make sure that I pick that semi-auto. So I pick my power-ups, right? But I want fire and missile to be in one. Again, look at the choice of characters for this, right? It could be like a cat as well. Is that Yeah, look, there's a cat here as well. I mean, this is just really, really good. Kind of like the, uh, the paper airplane guy. I'm, I'm a Vic Viper fan, though. I, I, I like Vic Viper. I'm a little bit boring like that. But we'll go, we'll go someone else, so... Baby's not bad. Let's go someone I've never really gone before. All right, let's go. Which one of these has got better fire? So you've got two versions of each one. All right, we'll go. We'll go. We've got this lady here. Okay, oh, that's cool. So shot missile A. Oh, I wonder. So usually it's on auto. So let's. I'm pretty sure this one's manual, right? Hopefully it is. <laughs> you probably can it i wouldn't put it past it right where you can play as a as a toilet look how good that plane looks i think this one's out for the snes as well man it's really really good for a snes oh wicked it's the manual one nice i've got a special now wicked Is that a, oh wow, it's a stiletto that she's firing up. Oh, that's really, really good. Oh, come on. <laughs> I like the way she drops down as well. But, um, that's, yeah, the SNES one, yeah, it's been converted to um, the fast drum as well. Um, the filler, yeah, something that a Candle 1 2 uh, does. Big shout out to Candle 1 2 as well, man. Love your work, buddy. And then just love you in general, man. You're, you're, you're a real good guy. Uh, like Candle 1 2. Very, very positive. Very, very funny, man. Like a funny guy to, to speak to. Uh, in a very very good way just such an awesome guy man uh, he's over my discord uh, so we do chat nice guy man and you know he's bringing all the fast from stuff over to uh over to um yeah oh well over to over to snares you can play him on like mr analog pocket whatever they work well i don't know if i want the tail gun or is the next one a better one Oh no! Start from scratch! <laughs> yeah, this, this this one's out for SNES. I remember the soundtrack. I'm gonna have to try Tail Gun now. Okay, cool. Alright, let's go Twin. Yeah, we're gonna go. I like the little DJ down there, man. Again, the stilettos are just cracking me up, man. Game only go top. Let's get the options as well. <laughs> She's got an apple there, right? I mean, this game's just hilarious, right? Let's uh, let's see if I can uh, make it to a boss, right? Uh, I don't think the first spot it bosses anything too crazy. Uh, I think in this one you fight like a like a cheerleader at some point, like a massive cheerleader. Is that a different uh, Proteus game that I'm thinking of? Let's get a shield now. Ah! Too busy looking at everything that's going on. Right, what time we got? Oh, okay, guys. I'm going to finish this before two hours. We're at 1 minute 48. Uh, so maybe about another 10 minutes or so. And then we'll call it a wrap. Look at that. Monkeys with little uh, hula hoops, man. jugglers chucking chicken drumsticks at you man i mean seriously oh at least i've got an option there nice Oh, I thought I could uh, get around that. Never mind. <laughs> okay, 
Shinokin. I think I've got that game. Let's have a look. Is it it? Is it it? Am I? Where is it? Shin Shinukin. Shinukin. Shinobi. Is it in the other folder? Alright, okay, let's have a look. No? Okay. Maybe, maybe it's spelled slightly different, Philae. I'm not seeing it. Are you seeing it out there? Let's have a look. Um... See if this game's there from Philly. If not, I'll uh, I'll find a random one myself. No, I can't. I can't see that game, man. <laughs> Shinukin. I'm pretty sure I had it though. It sounds very, very familiar. Do you know what though? Uh, what we can look at a game that I've not looked at. Nah. Okay. Cool. Sorry, Phil. You know what? I'm gonna have to get a full CHD set. This, no, 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 Guardian, was it Guardian Force? Maybe it was Guardian Force, yeah, this game's really, really good. Oh, I haven't got three Dirty Dwarfs, you know, Cyber Akuma. I, I kind of want to get that one. Um, I kind of want to get that one, I couldn't find it. When I found it, it didn't actually work on here. It was a weird file format, so uh, I would like to get three Dirty Dwarfs. That's something that uh, Andy D kind of kind of put me onto, and he said, yeah, to check to check that one out. Guys, like, this game is this game's really, really good really really good discover this on a saturn and you know what i played this on mame and and on mame it, it it's not a very good job uh it doesn't do a very good job of playing it right so again i kind of like so your middle button is your your fire button right and then uh so your b button is your fire button and it fires straight up and then you've got um you've got the a and the c button rotate the turret like uh clockwise and anti-clockwise right it, 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 it takes a little bit of getting used to for the controls but it's a very very good game and guys after this i'm just gonna i'm probably gonna put on a street fighter game and uh just let, like the demo run ah, i'm doing terrible on this right okay let's uh all right guys is there is there one other game is there one other game oh twinkle Sp star sprites right twinkle star sprites and then we're gonna kind of end it i'm just gonna let a demo kind of run and, and do the outro but twinkle star sprites that's the two player one isn't it um so that's it yeah so i need to get a full chd set uh does anyone know how big in size a full chd set is for the saturn are we talking um are we talking is it like 100 gig around what kind of size is it i'm pretty sure my saturn collection as it is now is way over 100 gig so or you know it might be like 150 maybe close to 200 gig I, i've never actually measured it um Again, wow, look, it looks so good. Such bright, colourful, beautiful looking... Oh, oops, hiccup there. But beautiful looking graphics. Um, turn off the sprite limit, Cherry. Uh, what is the sprite limit? Is that something in the options? All right, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'll look into that later, right? My personal Saturn collection is 68 gigabyte. Okay, um, I want to get... Yeah, I just want to get... Yeah, I want to get I want to get every single game, man. I just want to get a full, complete CHD collection and just put everything on there. So when we're doing a stream, right? Because there's some games on here I may not like, right? But you know what? They're games that I I, I would be interested in. All right, okay. What am I doing here, man? What is this? I thought I thought this was that two-player shmup thing. Am I am I in like a different game mode or something? Or am I? Is this a game where I'm just gonna look at drawings and stuff? <laughs> we can 68 gig is respectable. Um. Philip, but I, t I, I, I take it you've hand-chosen your games, yeah? Guest illustration. All right, so this is art room. I don't want the art room, man. Let's just let me get out of here. A full set and redump collection. Oh, wow. Okay. No, but you know what, Cyber Akuma? Is that, is that in CHD format or is that in... Um, is that is that bin cues? Because CHDs are, are significantly smaller, aren't they? Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to... Put on. Let's. Uh, what, what time we got? Oh yeah. Let, let, let's put on the last game now. Let's put on. Let's put on something that's gonna give us a good demo. And you know what? Something that always has a good demo is Street Fighter Alpha Three. Like the demo for that just looks really, really good. Um, yeah. So, so yeah. How many games have you got in your collection, Phil? If yours are almost all CHD, I mean, it's worth having everything in CHD, really. Um, ah, oh, that's zipped bin queues. Okay, so that's not even unzipped. I, I don't think they're gonna expand by much. 
um, the, the, the bin queues. I don't think they're, they're, they're majorly compressed or anything like that. So, um, but you know what, guys? That's it. I'm kind of going to wrap it up here. I really, I really do appreciate all you guys stopping by. Uh, myself and Sato Shiro really, really do uh, did enjoy it that, um, yeah, you guys have been around. So, absolutely awesome. The Saturn cores come a long, long way. If you're someone that's got a mister, try the Saturn. It's available via update tool. This is, this is one version newer than what's available in update tool. The version that's available in update all is absolutely fantastic. You should definitely try it out. If you don't have a mister, guys, like, get a mister. There's things coming out, yes, in the future, but you know what? A bird in hand is better than two birds in the bush. Uh, and the mister is just always, always wicked. Um, so absolutely, uh, I can't recommend it enough. I think it's absolutely fantastic. A big shout out to like everyone that turned up, uh, all your input, all your suggestions, all your requests is super duper appreciated. Massive shout out to the channel sponsor as well, Mr. Addons, for just being awesome and just being a nice guy. Someone I actually like speaking to and I'm actually honored to have them um, as, as the sponsor of the show. And just a little bit of um, like a, 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 a disclaimer here, like, I, this this video where I'm promoting Mr. Addons, I'm only doing it because I like the guy. This isn't there's no financial incentive for me to do it. The only financial incentive I have is for the weekly news videos. But like I say, if you're nice and you're polite, then I'll try and help out in any way I can. And that goes for any of you guys as well, guys. Any of you guys watching, if you're releasing anything that kind of goes with my channel, any retro game, a ROM hack, if you're working on something. Feel free to reach out. I'll gladly feature it in the Saturday show as long as it kind of fits the stuff that I do. I've had people contacting me before saying, would you kind of feature our medieval war simulator, which is a modern game? I'm like, look, with all due respect, thank you, you know, for being a subscriber of the channel. But you know what? It just doesn't fit with what I do. If it fits with what I do, I'll gladly give it a little, uh, give it a little plug, you know, because yeah, I, I appreciate people being kind, honest and polite. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Have an absolutely brilliant rest of Easter Monday. For those of you guys that have got work tomorrow, maybe get an early night. Uh, I guess you're different countries, it might be in the afternoon. But yeah, get an early night, be good to one another guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed, then a subscription I like is super duper appreciated. This is Pixel Cherry Ninja out.